Do you always notice a fistful of hair whenever you run through your fingers through your hair? Well, you're not alone facing the issue of hair baldness and hair thinning. Today, we will find out what is the best treatment to help in combating these kind of hair problems. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Roshni Mishra from Cure Skin. I'm an empty dermatologist and a trichologist and today I'll be helping you out to find out the best reasons and best treatments for fighting back the hair fall. What are the causes of hair loss or baldness? Number one, hair problem associated with thyroid disorders. An underactive thyroid in the condition called as hypothyroid or an overactive thyroid, the condition which is also called as hyperthyroidism. Both these conditions are going to affect your hormones, which will definitely lead to the hair loss pattern, which is called as steogenic fluvium. So in case if you're having thyroid disorders, discuss it with your endocrinologist and the dermatologist and start your treatment at the earliest. Well, just not thyroid is the one which is going to affect your hormones. Even during pregnancy, you notice a wildly fluctuating hormonal disbalance. During pregnancy, you might notice that your hair have the best shape and best quality ever. But during the postpartum period, especially during the first three months, you notice there's going to be a drastic hair fall and hair thinning as well. Well, don't worry, ladies. This is going to be very temporary. Once all the hormones have regained into the normal sea, your hairs are going to stop from falling and the follicles will automatically recover. Then when we talk about alopecia, there are mainly two broad categories of alopecia. The first one is called as alopecia areata or it is an autoimmune condition. And the second one is called as the androgenetic alopecia in which basically because of the increased level of hormones, you notice a lot of hair fall and hair thinning. In both these conditions, especially in the case of alopecia areata, you will notice that the hair loss is just not limited to your scalp, but also there will be the loss over your eyebrows and the body hairs. Well, if you're noticing hair fall falling and even which has been disrupting your normalcy, for example, a breakup or a divorce or a death of someone closed one, then you will be noticing that your hair fall has suddenly increased and this is directly related with the increased level of cortisol because of the stress. So once everything is going to be normal and the stress levels are going to go down, the hair is going to be back to its normal shape and size and the hair fall and the hair thinning will also be reduced. Well, having a well-balanced diet, especially for your hair, including a proper amount of proteins, nutrients and vitamins and minerals is very essential. So whenever you're noticing any kind of deficiency in your diet, especially with the protein part, there's going to be increased hair loss pattern. Along with this, Certain minerals, for example, the iron, vitamin B12, are also responsible for causing hair loss if there's going to be the deficiency. So get your blood test done and make sure to have a well-balanced diet. Extreme hair care. In an effort to make your hair that properly perfect and all-time set, you might use a lot of heating styling tools and over-shampooing your hair, which can actually damage the cuticle of your hair, leading to a lot of fizziness and breakage. So make sure that whenever you're doing your hair care, be extra protective towards it. Use a heat protection spray before blow drying. That's going to help in maintaining your cuticles. Hair loss can be very, very, very frustrating and irritating towards the part of life. Well, most of the time the hair loss is noticed in the older individuals, but hair loss can affect anyone, including the children. So to make sure that you can treat your hair loss, visit your dermat at the earliest. If you found this video useful, please share and subscribe. And if you have any queries, please write down in the comment section below.